Welcome back to Unraveled Gaming. I'm Wade, and this is the third playthrough of Dinosaur Island. I will uh, sort of do my intro here, actually, because uh, after reflecting on it a little bit, I don't think I'm going to include all three playthroughs in Dinosaur Island. Um, I feel like that'd be a little too much. I did do three playthroughs. I have three recordings. I'm going to slice all this together, but uh, I don't know that anybody wants to watch it three times. Um, I will uh, I will show, uh, and I'll try to take a picture and include it of the other two plot twists, because uh, with the solo version of Dinosaur Island, and this includes um, some bits and pieces from uh, Totally Liquid expansion. I don't have any other expansions beyond Totally Liquid. But it does have some of those pieces, and I wanted to include those in uh, this playthrough. So, I can't even remember if the solo came with the original, or if that was in Totally Liquid that the, the solo came in. And there are some various, uh, uh, what do you call it, solo AI that you can use with Dinosaur Island, but I think you have to go to BGG and download them. In order to use them, so this is uh, this is just the uh, the just the the water creatures with some of the other cards uh, that might be included. So each, but I did, uh, and I debated because when I went online and I saw uh, I didn't see a playthrough, but I saw that uh, Brian Lewis, one of the designers of the game, had indicated that he had played solo. He posted a score. It looked to me like he was using plot twists, and those plot twists, he had scored 101 with plot twists. So I decided I was going to use plot twists, and I will argue that it changes the solo experience every game. Uh, at the end of the video, I will talk about uh, in more detail uh, what, what I think about this game as a solo experience, and as compared to other games, and I will mention the other games that I played uh, comparing them from a solo experience. So that'll be at the end of this video. I'll do a, a short recording um, to tag on at the end. But I did use, for this uh, game, we are using a plot twist. It's called Round Round. So basically we're going to add hooligans to the bag. So in the first round, I think we play as normal, and then we're going to add five hooligans to the bag, and then we're going to add five more. That is very significant for the play at, uh, at the Dinosaur Island solo because you only have 22 regular patrons and three hooligans in the bag. So adding five more hooligans, which I'm going to have to get the box down to add them because I put them all up in the box uh, when I went down to play this. But that five, those five more hooligans are going to make it much easier to get hooligans. Now, I randomly drew, the, drew these plot twists, so... Uh, I didn't schedule this or plan this out. It's just, this is how it worked. The second one is the hooligan plot twist, that the hooligans will actually give me money when they're in line at the beginning, but they won't score me victory points. And hooligans usually don't give you money or victory points in Dinosaur Island Solo. So that's an interesting uh, plot twist, and... It's going to certainly change how I play this game. So, without further ado, we're going to jump in. I am going pretty fast when I'm playing this game because it's, uh, I don't know. It To me, thinking through it, there's, there's a little thinkiness to it, but it usually has more to do with the plot twists. If I didn't use the plot twists then I don't know that the experience solo-wise would be nearly as good because you would probably end up doing pretty much the same thing every game, somewhat dependent on which cards came out. But in general, I don't know that it would be... I mean, you'd have different dinosaurs, there's sort of be a little bit of variability, but I'm not sure if it'd be enough that I'd want to replay it a lot solo uh, without the plot twist. But the plot twists do make it kind of interesting, although definitely better as a multiplayer game, uh, I would argue. So, round one. Um, we are going to get lose the number two dice, which that ends up being the dice that would give me advanced DNA, sadly. That's usually the toughest to get. 
we're also going to lose the number one and the number three dinosaur. And I think because Marines don't get taken out uh, typically, I'm going to, if it, if it's an, if it's the one or the two or the, whatever it is, one, two, three, I'm going to take out that Marine animal as well. So I only have one dinosaur available to me this round. That is a change. I didn't take any of the marine animals out the first time. So that's a little bit different. Uh, the number four uh, attraction is out. And the number four uh, HR manager is out. That's the specialist. So that one's out. And the attraction, uh, I'm probably not gonna show the ones I take out because they're not, it's not gonna be as interesting. But uh, I do have now, hopefully, if the, if the recording works out, I've got my over-the-shoulder camera. Uh, probably you're not supposed to see that if I was a better videographer, but uh, I am not there yet. So, uh, but hopefully you can see the board way better. I'm actually using rubber uh, dinosaur meeples. Uh, I got these a while ago specifically for this game so that I could have these fun rubber dinosaurs to play with Dinosaur Island. So let's see what we want to do. I got to use my scientists here. Um, do I want to go after this creature? He's a threat and four, um, four things. I want to get those up there. Make sure no patrons are eaten. We definitely don't want patrons eaten. Um, do I even have a way to get any? I can get some basic DNA. I mean, I could probably, like, really get my Hadrosaurus going here if I... That wouldn't hurt. And it doesn't give me a lot of excitement, though, in my park, which is kind of rough. And... I need to get stuff for... I mean, we're going to have to get DNA... So let's see, if I use the two times two is four, three times two, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my three scientists for this DNA because that'll give me six. And basically that's basic DNA. So I'm gonna load up on basic DNA and get that all the way up to the highest marks there. Um, and I am going to get I'm going to increase my cold storage for the advanced DNA. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be going after, so I'm just going to grab two kind of at random, and then I will get one advanced yellow DNA. Uh, there's the advanced one. So that will be my scientist phase, and then I'll go to phase two, and we get to buy some stuff. Now, I really want stuff that's going to help me with the hooligans, uh, so, Chaos Theorist, remove one scientist, number one, your number one scientist from the game, and at the end of each round, re-roll any one unclaimed DNA die and gain the benefit. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, collect a dollar each for up to two hooligans in your park each round. Ooh, that's pretty helpful. You may place one patron at a merchandise attraction even if it's full. So I definitely am going to get the specialist here, that the security guard, because he, they're going to give me extra money. That's going to that's going to play off the hooligans, and there's going to be tons of hooligans in the park this this game. So I want to be uh, mindful of that. So that allows me to return hooligans to the bag and draw that many visitors to this round. I don't know that that's going to be particularly helpful. I like increasing my security level by one at no cost. That's pretty good. Um, do I have the three? One scientist in the research phase, dinosaur three times, no patrons eaten. Ah. <sighs> Upgrading security at no cost is just awfully good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that upgrade uh, so that I can get my security going. And that's my two purchases. So I am done with that. And now I place workers. And 
this is where it gets tough because uh, I don't want to get eaten. I do have a plus two on security. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade security for free twice so we can manage the threat this round. We only have one threat. We only have one dinosaur. I don't have room to create another dinosaur. Um, so the question is, do I want to just get money in preparation for next round? I could refine DNA or I could upgrade a paddock now. The hadrosaur is not really one to go after much. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the money because it tends to run short before it gets tall. And we're going to do that. And then that's the end of... Oh, we got to do our, our doohickey here. Um, so first we're going to draw for our excitement. We get to draw one. Boom. He's going to go visit. Uh, that's going to give us one victory point, so we're at 11. Goes back in the bag, he pays me one dollar. That's it. And then I have to add five hooligans to the bag. So that is that phase, and we are done. We lose these two. We're going to go to round two. We met our solo goal. No patrons eaten this round, so we get 10 points. For meeting that goal, go to round two, get my scientists back, get my workers back. Um, oh, I forgot to hire one worker. I would have had one extra worker that round uh, because of my security guard. I totally forgot about that. So I think with that security guard, I probably would have just gained two bucks. Getting some extra money, so that's going to come in handy. We have to re-roll our dice. And we got some good ones. If we can, uh, if we can not get them stolen by the uh, AI here, then we'll be in good shape. Uh, let's see, that goes all the way up there. I didn't realize how many of these guys disappeared. All right, there's our those and that and. Two more attractions here. Okay. So there's that. We're going to draw. Let's get our dinosaurs out. We've got our new ones. And we need to draw the card. Um, and we're going to get rid of dice two and three, which are, sadly, kind of the two that I wanted. Um, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of the $3 ride and the $4 uh, specialist. And let's see. That's that. And then we have to use our scientists. So what do we want to do? Now we can get uh, advanced DNA this round. So I am going to do that. I'm going to get the advanced DNA. So I can get a 3 uh, there's the advanced DNA. I use my number three scientist. I am getting that advanced DNA, and since my number three scientist was out of the running anyway, um, no, I could have gotten a dinosaur. Uh, Brontosaurus is not bad. If I get four of those, that's going to be eight points, and excitement, and he doesn't use a ton of, uh, DNA. So we'll go ahead and grab a Brontosaurus. That might give us an option to create something this round. And I think I am going to go ahead and increase my cold storage to so one. This should have gone up one. And uh, do I want to increase my regular cold storage? I have three to store there. It's usually, um, it's usually this storage I need the most of. But it's hard to say. It's really hard to say what's going to be the most helpful. So I'll go ahead and increase my middle one there by one, just in case I need it. Okay, 
So now we'll go to phase two. Do we have anything that helps us with hooligans? If you draw two or more hooligans on your turn, collect a dollar and score a victory point? Dude, that is exactly the kind of specialist that we want. So we're going to get that, which gives us another worker, which is fantastic. Uh, we still have that guy. Anytime you may sell any two basic DNA or any one advanced for a dollar. Eh, I'm not too worried about that. Um, so are we going to get anything this round? Score eight victory points. Assign only one scientist in the research phase. Create dinosaurs of three different species. Earn eight dollars from patrons. Reach a security level of 12. I don't think... We're going to get um, what we want. Uh, I don't have the three specialist card out there. And I I mean, I don't think I'm getting eight victory points or eight dollars in a round. And I assigned all my scientists. So we're probably not getting any points this round. And we won't get to 10 bonus at the end. Which means I got to really do lots of points on dinosaurs. Um, I don't know. Let's see. We have to get our excitement up quite a bit to get anybody to get eight victory points because we could get eight victory points if we can get enough excitement to get eight things drawn. We could at least get eight dollars from patrons in a single round. Um, mm. So the question is, what's my next buy? Return up to two hooligans, gain one, any one advanced DNA, upgrade paddock capacity, or increase security by one at a discount. So I think the better tool bench might be the option, although that's going to cost five to do that. Um, do I want to spend five? I think I will. I'll get the better tool bench and I'll put that there for now. Um, I think that'll be worth it in the end. And let's see. Uh, we will go to the next phase of our play here and place workers. So, what do we want to do? We really have got to get the Brontosaurus thing going. Um, I can increase paddock capacity at a discount and get one there. And I could increase it at another discount, but now i got to pay two to get up to three. Um, I'd have to pay four to get it up there. Uh, we do have increased threat up to this round if I create dinosaurs. Um, the most I can create is two dinosaurs. Uh, which probably mean, well, the pack capacity is still worthwhile. But I should increase my threat opportunity. Um, I think we're going to increase our security at no cost, and we'll create one dinosaur for now. It will be one of those, and one of those, and one of those to create a brontosaurus. Do I have a brontosaurus down here? Show me a brontosaurus. Apparently they're all in here. Here we go. Uh, it's actually, it is a brontosaurus, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna try not to hit my camera here. So we got one brontosaurus, which gives us an excitement level up to two and gives us one more threat here. And so now we are drawing one, two, three, and it's three patrons, and they're going to pay me $3, and I'm going to put them in the park, 
and they're going to score three victory points, and then we're going to put them back in the bag, like so. And so we're going to score one, two, three. We didn't get this, so we're going to have to get rid of a card. So I really want to get rid of the card that I think I'm not going to get. Um, so security level of 12 is, I probably would get it anyway, but it's, oh, no, actually assigning only one scientist in the science phase, that's the one I should get rid of because I'm probably going to want to use my scientists. So that is that. We're going to get rid of those top cards there. Go to round three. Uh, undo our, reveal our next dinosaurs. Grab that and that. Shift and go. So you can kind of see how uh, easy the setup for the next round is. I would say, well, I'd say setup for the game is a little bit more intense. Setup for the next round is not too bad. Uh, it's not hard to go from one round to the next. And we got to roll the die. So let's do that. And we'll just put these there and there. And then flip our card for round three. Uh, dice one and dice five. Dinosaur number three is going to disappear. So we get a large carnivore and that guy disappears. So we only have one and two this round. And uh, number four, number three are going to disappear, and I get to keep all of the specialists. So, um, that is that. Let's see. Uh, we're going for the eight points. We've got our scientists back somewhere. Here they are. i got to collect my workers. And, uh, we didn't get anybody eaten last round. That's good. All right, let's see. Okay, scientists, what do we need? What do we need? We need this rare DNA, honestly, to get anything. Uh, we need some more, we need some more dinosaurs. I'm thinking about that Stegosaurus. He's only one threat. He's not too bad. Uh, a Brontosaurus and a Stegosaurus. Those are good dinosaurs, kind of standard dinosaurs to have in the park. So I'll get one of those. Um, that, I don't have storage for that. But if I increase my storage, then I could get the DNA from those, which wouldn't be bad. So I think I am going to increase my storage by three. So we'll go one, two, three, and then I'll grab this die, which means that one's going to be my threat indicator, which I used a two for this one. So I'm going to get one, two, and I would get four, but I'm only going to get those two, which is fine. I'd rather have the rare. All right, and then we get to buy stuff. Um, at any time, you can sell two basic DNA for any one. I already read that one. Each merchandise attraction in your park scores two victory points. Probably not going to get a lot of those. One less visitor is eaten in your park each round. Maybe. Uh, once per round, when another player assigns a scientist to research DNA, gain the same type of DNA. We're going to actually pull that card uh, because it's really useless in solo. So... You may assign a worker to this card to treat your security level as plus one for the rounds. Okay, that's a legitimate card. I know one thing I'm going to want to do is buy this dino research uh, upgrade because then I can create more dinosaurs at a faster level. Um, refine DNA might not be a bad one, but I've got my three lab upgrades, so I'm not really going to worry about that. And I'm not sure I like any of the scientists there. I really want folks that focus on hooligans. Uh, exchange DNA. Oh, that's actually the transmogrifier. Margrifier is not a bad one. Um, I might try...
gets cheaper next time. Increase your security level at one. I could spend five, or I could go for I could go for two and potentially hire another specialist as well. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go for five and get two of these advanced DNA. That's gonna be my second purchase. And then I will go to worker placement. So we are going to mm, Well, we have got to get our excitement up. That is that is the deal. So we're gonna definitely create a dinosaur. That's gonna cost me that, that, and that. And I need to get myself another Brontosaurus. Um, pretty sure I have one in here. Yep, there we go. We're gonna get another Brontosaurus on there, which increases excitement two and threat one. And then I think we're going to create uh, another dinosaur, a Stegosaurus, and we'll get use those, and we'll create a Stegosaurus there, and uh, that is going to give us two excitement and two victory. No, no, sorry, no, no victory points. It's going to give us one threat. That's what it's going to give us. Uh, the question is, do I want to create another one? I think I'm going to create another, not because I don't have a paddock capacity, but I can increase paddock capacity uh, with a two discount, which I am going to do. And I'm gonna have to put these brontosauri here. And then we will create a stegosaurus, which we will use that and that and that to create another stegosaurus, increasing our excitement by two and our threat by one. And then we will increase our security for free by one. So likely someone is getting eaten because I can't increase my security more. Um, security will cost three. Paddock capacity is going to cost too much. I'm only going to get one. I'm going to go ahead and gain $3 with my last worker there to be used next round. So we've got uh, nine excitement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So all nine are going to pay because of my cards. Um, I didn't draw two or more hooligans, so those guys aren't gonna trigger. That's okay. Uh, so I am gonna get $8 from patrons this round, which means I'm going to score seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I am gonna get nine bucks. I'll do that. And then I have to put them in the park. This is where it's gonna get hairy. Three of them can go in there. He has to go in first. Two of them can go in there. One can go there. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six victory points. But hold on. We get plus two to the threat. One person gets eaten. He's out of the game. So I'm actually only going to get five victory points. All right. These guys go back into the bag. And I get one, two, three, four, five, and then we reset for next round. So that disappears, that disappears, disappears. Um, we get these workers back. We're going to go to the next round. We got a goal that round, so we don't have to get rid of a goal. Draw new dinosaurs and shift our stacks here. So that's the attractions, and now it might benefit me to get an attraction because I'm, I ran out of space that time to put folks in my park, and that is one of the big things attractions are good for, is putting folks in the park. One patron at a ride attraction, if it's full, each round to score a victory point. Okay, not bad, but not as useful as I'd like. Let's roll our dice. And roll that. So let's put these out. 
and number two, four, and five are going. And so that leaves us with those. And then we are losing dinosaur two and the four dollar upgrade and the two dollar specialist. All right. And then let's see. we got here scientist let's see and I could get my three lab upgrades actually I had three lab upgrades last round so I could have scored that for seven one two three four five six seven because I'm not gonna get the um, I'm not gonna get the uh, the ten bonus points for all of them because I missed a round so we're there's no point in not not doing that this round. I'm definitely not going to need any more uh, cold storage that I can foresee. Um, I'd like to get a... Oh, that guy is good. I'm going to get him. Ten victory points per? Dang, he takes a lot of... Uh, takes a whole lot of DNA, but I've got lots of DNA storage. I'm going after him. And then I'm going to get four basic DNA. Um, so what do we need for basic? One, two. We're just going to go after these guys. Three, four. I'm going to have to get some of him, but I am going to get rid of all of these dice. So there's no increased threat this round, which is fantastic. Um, so that'll only give me one, but... It's worth it. Actually, you know what? I would have gotten these two instead so that I could have gotten that up to the top. That would have made more sense. So we will do that. All right. Well, that's that's my scientist. So now I need to buy some stuff. I've got so much regular DNA that the refined DNA might be worthwhile to go after in order to get other things. So nothing else I think uh, security level, exchange one, um, increase security by one. Uh, I don't know about those. I'd really like to get a another attraction in the park. That'll cost me nine, the hyper coaster. So that, I can't afford everything, though. That's the problem. I wish I had more money. I think the hyper coaster is going to be better than refining DNA, possibly. I don't know. I've got a new park attraction, so I could increase my park size. I think actually the paddock upgrade could be just as useful. So I'm going to go for tool bench number two to upgrade that. And I am going to go for the DNA refinement so that I can do a little bit more on those fronts. That does not leave me with much money to work with, uh, which means if I pay a $3 deal for the worker placement phase, I can pay for basically like a double paddock upgrade, um, but I pay the higher cost and I can get this up to three right away is very nice. I will do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to create one of those dinosaurs. I have room for another brontosaurus. I'm pretty sure I am creating a brontosaurus. Boom, boom. And let's see if we have, yay, one more brontosaurus. We'll do it. So that's going to give us one, two, excitement, and one threat. Remember, we have no extra threat this round, which is fantastic. I wonder if I can get one of these guys built because it's too excitement, but it's 10 victory points at the end of the game to get that. I need one of each of these advanced DNA. So if I was to refine DNA, uh, I need a green. So I'd need to use one of these and one of these to create a green. And I need a pink. So I would need one of these and one of these to create a pink. And that will allow me to create one dinosaur, 
which is a, it's not a dinosaur I have. I don't have like a water dinosaur. So we'll use a regular, a regular dude there. And that's going to increase our excitement by two. And we have to use all of that DNA. And then one, two, three of those. But I'm going to be creating four of those for sure. Uh, because they are worth tons of victory points at the end of the game. Uh, so the question is, I'm going to go ahead and increase my security because I got room for it. Um, and so there we go. Weird. Uh, get a weird sound here. All right. So that is that. Oh, we got to draw stuff. So now our excitement is 13. Uh, these are supposed to be in the bag. I think I missed a turn. Uh, so 13. So we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've got 13. Um, all of them pay because of my... Uh, Ability here. Collect one dollar for each of up to two hooligans in your park each round. Um, okay. Each of up to two in your park each round. So hooligans go into the park first and take up spots. Uh, so they will take up those spots. And then these guys get to go in the park. So they are going to take up those spots, which leaves me three at the door, sadly. Um, all right. And uh, if I draw two or more hooligans on my turn, I collect a dollar and score a victory point. I did draw two or more hooligans, so I collect a dollar and score one victory point. Um, and collect one dollar for each, undweller each for up to two hooligans in your park each round. So I got two hooligans, so I get a dollar more for that guy. And we are going to score one, two, three, four, five, six victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're at the 50. So we're going to be at 50 plus there. And then we are going to collect our workers back. Nobody gets eaten because we have no extra threat this round. And did I complete a goal? Create dinosaurs of three different species, not including the starting dinosaur species. Done. We get five points for that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Do we complete another eight victory points in a single round? Uh, did I score eight victory points? I scored one for the hooligan. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I scored seven, so I didn't get eight. And I did not reach a security level of 12. Oh, well. But we did get a goal, so we will take it. We will get our scientists back, and we will go on to round number five and see what we do. So these are going to disappear, and we're going to get... More stuff out. We'll shift that up. Put these out. And this out. Shift. And we got lots of money now. So we can got we got stuff to spend. Return up to three hooligans to the bag each round and then draw that many new visitors. Once per game, you may search for any one face down marketplace item and put it into play. For four dollars plus the additional cost for attractions. Okay. That could be, that could be helpful, maybe. Um, upgrade pack capacity by one at no cost. That's awfully good. Probably better than that tool bench. Exchange, increase security level by one at no cost. Exchange, okay. So we're getting to where we really want to get our paddock capacity upgraded, so that might be something we want to do. Let's draw a card. We are going to get rid of... Lots of dice this round. So, here's 
that. And we're gonna get rid of 135 again. Ugh. Dinosaur one, which gets rid of also that water dinosaur. The $5 attraction and the $3 uh, specialist. Um, so that goes and that goes. And then we have to do our scientists. All right, so uh, we definitely want advanced DNA with number three. That's going to give us one, two, oh, I'll go green for three. We'll do that. And do we want the basic DNA? I think we do. I'm going to get four of those like so. And that gets rid of all of our threat. That's the good side of dice being stolen by the AI. Don't need to increase that. I have my one scientist. I'm going to port him over uh, for my worker pool next round because I can't get another dinosaur. And then we're going to get some stuff. So what do we want here? Get a Ferris wheel. That's going to cost, that would cost us 11 to get a Ferris wheel. Is it worth it? I am not sure. Um, I feel like the five for the paddock capacity is going to be better. So we're going to replace that with this instead of having the better tool bench, we will have a renovation committee. Um, this one I like, but I don't know if I'm going to use it much. I kind of think DNA might be more beneficial. So I am going to get rid of this and uh, get three basic DNA, one, two, three, like so. And then we're going to go to our worker phase. So what do we want to do? Well, I definitely want to build one of these guys. So that's going to cost me one, two, three, and one, two, three to get another um, Another one of these Chronosaurus. We're, we're going to do that. We're going to upgrade our paddock capacity at no cost. So my Chronosaurus paddock is going to go to four spots available. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I think use my scientist that I didn't use to upgrade my Stegosaurus paddock here at no cost to that. Uh, we don't have any extra threat, but we're going to go ahead and increase that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get another Stegosaurus here. Um, oh, our excitement went up two, and then it's going to go up two more for the Stegosaurus. But I need a, oh, there's another Stegosaurus. There we go. Put three on there. And we have some funding left. Um, I could get two paddock upgrades, uh, or a security upgrade, but I got to pay the higher cost. Um, I want spots in the park for people. So I'm going to go a paddock upgrade of three for this guy. Um, put that over here. Do -do -do. So now that paddock is a little bigger. And this is supposed to be a water paddock. So I'm going to put that back and get the four water paddock. And then there we go. All right. So now we are drawing. Uh, we're drawing like 17. So let's just get it out here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hooligans all pay at the front end. Um, so with um, that means I'm definitely getting the full 17. I will take it. And then hooligans go into the park first. So three go there. Uh, three go there. Four go here. I mean, they are taking up spots like crazy. And then four can go here, and one can go there. Okay, so I'm going to get 
five victory points. One, two, three, four, five. And the hooligans, one dollar for each of up to two hooligans in your park each round. And I drew two or more, so I collect a dollar and another victory point. I will take it. Okay? So, we are making at least a little bit off of the hooligans. Uh, getting some money that normally I would not get off the hooligans. Uh, so that's good. Alright. And... Alright. Here we go. Next round. Go here. Second toss instead of the first at the tool bench. Gain one. Advance DNA at the start of each round. Well, uh, and did we get a? We did not score eight victory points. We did not receive security level. Um, actually, to be honest, this is probably the hardest one. Eight victory points is maybe more likely. Hard to say with the hooligans. So we didn't get a deal that round. Get our scientists back. And here we go. Rolling dice again. Let me turn those and put those out. What do we need? All right. Let's see. Uh, second to last round. Whew. Um... Definitely going to need advanced DNA. I like the two here because that'll give me two and one, two, three, four of that. So that's good. Uh, we don't have a ton in the way of threat to worry about, which is kind of nice. Hmm. I could go after a bigger creature or I could use workers and do more damage with the workers. That's an option. Although getting that and that is also pretty helpful because well, I actually need more of that basic DNA. Hmm. I could purchase it. This is going to be harder to come by. So I'm going to get that for two of those and one of those. And I don't know that anything else is really useful at this point. Although I do have a lot of those, but I'd rather save this guy for a worker. And let's see what we can get in the purchase uh, deal. That's going to give me one. Let's start an extra round. Uh, let's see. We've got a lot of... Four patrons at any one attraction this round. Change one to two and A for one to two others. Increase security level. Uh, nothing is awesome. An attraction wouldn't hurt because, I mean, like the teacup ride, that's like three bucks just to have a place to put another guy, which could be useful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And do I want to purchase DNA? That is the question. I need to purchase the $2 DNA up there. So I'm going to do that. And then we will do workup placement. All right. So I definitely want another one of those, which means I need to refine DNA, which means I need to use this and this to get this. Create a dinosaur. Need one of each of these across the board, and that gets me un dinosaur. Can I create another one this round? And that would put me at the highest level next round. 
I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade paddock capacity for my stegosaurus here. We're gonna get that to four at no cost. That's worthwhile. Um, we're gonna go ahead and increase security by one. We're gonna have an increase of two this round anyway. Uh, and we're gonna have to, I can perform two paddock upgrades if I paid four bucks. Um, then I can get two paddock upgrades, and there's two paddocks to upgrade up till up to four. So I'm gonna get that, and I'm gonna get this, and that is going to get those two spaces available for dinos, which is great. Um, and we have one more. If I create a dinosaur, I'm gonna increase my threat one two bonus threat this round but i have I, I think i can handle it if i create one two three i can go i can get another stegosaurus which i'm not sure i have i think i only have three of each of these dinosaurs so we will not get a stegosaurus exactly we'll get a tyrannosaurus looking thing to put in there for the four and that's going to increase my threat one, but my excitement's going to go all the way up to 20. It cannot go over 20. So I can't do anything about that. And I have one worker, which I will get three bucks. Uh, I don't really need the three bucks. But I don't know that I'm going to be upgrading any other paddocks. And I don't have enough workers to do anything else. So three dollars it is. We will do that. And then we will draw our, if we can get eight victory points, we're good. All right, three, six, nine, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's see how we did. So we're definitely getting 20 bucks and we are I'm gonna go to the last round next round, but I gotta put these guys into the park. Uh, let's see, there's three of them there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two at the gate. So we're getting eleven victory points. 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Because we're going to get the 2 from that. And we get a dollar for up to 2 hooligans in my park. So there's an extra buck. Uh, and then we collect another dollar and a victory point for that. So we'll get those. All right. And that's going to give us what we need to go into the last round. All right, so there's all of our guys there. Well, nobody got eaten because our threat wasn't high enough to get eaten. So we're good on the uh, folks there. And I think I was supposed to take this one out last turn. So he would have been gone. Um, and he would have been gone as well. Uh, didn't buy any dinosaurs, so it didn't matter to some degree. And let's see. Uh, all right. Last round. Let's see. Roll the dice. Put that there and that there. And we got to get rid of our folks here. And slide these up. See if anybody comes out that can help us with our dinosaur park. And then this is going to slide up. And then this comes out. You may place one lab upgrade on this card. Okay. Interesting. That's not a bad one. 
Um, Huh. All right. Not too bad. Uh, here's our dinosaurs, and we're going to draw our card. Make sure I'm on the right round. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I might have forgotten to draw a card last round. I might have used one round twice, but I'm pretty sure I'm on round seven. So the number one dinosaur goes again. And then we lose the number five, which is potentially the one I would have considered taking because it had the most spots. Uh, oh well, and no specialists go this round. So back to scientist phase for round seven. Ooh, I did not get much in the way of uh, stuff here. Hmm. I need DNA. I need DNA more than anything else. So I'm going to take that DNA out so that I can get three using my number three scientist. Um, I've got plenty of money. I really don't need the money, but I also don't need that DNA. That's only one threat. That's not going to hurt too much. I'm going to use these two guys to pass and use them as workers. And we will see what we can get in this deal. As for gain, you may search for any one face value. Item and put it into play for four dollars. Hmm. You know, that particular person might help me because she will give me another worker, and once per game, I can look for uh, a marketplace item, a face down marketplace item, and put it into play for four dollars plus the additional cost so if I want one of these lovely places that gives me more spots like the clever grill then I can do that for four plus eleven is fifteen so I'm basically giving up three victory points in order to maybe get some more victory points putting that on the board so I'll do that that's that seems like a good deal um, and then I get one more purchase. So, with that one, I desperately need DNA to get my last deal there. So, I'm going to pony up five to get that DNA uh, advanced. And then we'll get rid of that marketplace item. And then I do my worker placement. Um... So, one is we're definitely creating this dinosaur. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Absolutely have to create that dinosaur because it gives me so many victory points at the end of the game. Ten victory points. My excitement can't go up any higher than it is. So, really, it's just about making as much space in the park as possible um, for, for folks to visit. Uh, paddock capacity is not going to help me. Uh, increasing my security level possibly could help. So I can get one free security upgrade. Mm. Let's see, if I refine DNA here, I don't have enough DNA there. I can't even, I can't just make DNA out of nothing. So... I can increase my security level again. Uh, that's at 10. That's at no cost. I, I could create a dinosaur here. Uh, basically get another one of these fellas for just two basic. Uh, that gets my threat up one. Um, threat's going to be a plus one this round. Uh, it doesn't give me much excitement, but does give me a victory point if I do another one. His paddock is big enough, and I can create another one. Get my thread up one again. It's not going to hurt. I've got three workers left. I uh, don't have paddock upgrades. I don't really need a security upgrade, although I could pay for it, but I don't need it. 
Um, the money will give me victory points, sort of, at the end of the game. So I might as well do that and get six. And then we'll see what happens with our last round here. So I'm going to turn in five singles for five just to make my change easier. And then let's see. We're going to get 20, 20 guys because of our excitement. So there's five. 10, uh, 15, 20, make sure I did that right, yep, 5, 10, 15, 20, alright, uh, they all pay because of the uh, plot twist, so I get those, these go into the park first because they are hooligans and they butt in line. And that's going to get me another guy up there. Those are going to get four. Those are going to get four. Um, and this. There's four to go there. Nice. Got them all in the park. That is fan tabulous. Alright, so uh, we are going to get a uh, dollar for each of up to two hooligans, so we'll get that, and we'll get, uh, we drew two hooligans, so we get another buck and a victory point, so we'll do that, I can turn those in for a five, and then I will score one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen victory points, so 36, 37, 39, so we go there, and that is game that's it so we'll do final scoring we get a buck for each each five dollars i have so one or a victory point two three four five six seven eight nine ten victory points for that um and then we score victory points for our park attractions um i've already scored all my other victory points. I don't think I have any on uh, those guys. So we're just doing park attractions. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. None for those. Uh, 27, 37, 47, 57 in addition to my 49. So that's going to go basically around the board again. Uh, that would be another 50. One. That would also go there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which garners a final score. It was on 50, 100... I think that's 106. I think it's a final score of a 106 for that game. Um, which is not bad, because I had to use hooligans and make the most of the hooligans. Uh, it was a little puzzlier. I am going to come back in a bit, and I will do final thoughts on uh, Dinosaur Island solo play and uh, decide on my final rating and, and get that posted, and then include... In the final thoughts sort of discussion as Dinosaur Island compared with uh, Friday and Call to Adventure, which the other two I did. Um, thus far, uh, once we get further into this series, then I'm going to have There it is. Okay. So, uh, Dinosaur Island was, I would say, set up. Set up initially is a little bit more burdensome. Um, it takes a, it has a fairly large footprint. It's not quite as large for solo as it would be for the, um, for this experience. For the, uh, it's not as hard for this as it would be for multiplayer, rather. Um, so that's not as bad. Um, I'd probably say initial setup alone would probably fall in the two range, but the reset is pretty easy from game to game. I was able to reset between games one and two and two and three pretty fast. Um, didn't have a lot of issues with that. So 
I, I gave it a three overall for setup. Um, the challenge, I, I don't really know what to compare myself to. I mean, I saw Brian's score of 101. Every single score I got was over that. Uh, this last one was 106. That was the lowest score I think I had. Um, and I'm pretty sure I did my points right. Uh, I had to play with hooligans. Um, I had to deal with a lot more hooligans in this one because of the plot twists. Uh, I will say that the plot twists do increase the challenge um, and make you kind of have to adapt your strategy. It's really hard to pinpoint. If you're using the plot twist, you really can't pick a score that you're going to go for. Uh, if you take out the plot twists, you can kind of just see what's the best score you can get with no plot twist at all. That's probably going to be the uh, a little bit of a deciding factor. Um, I The catch with that would be that the 10 cards you draw in the solo round are going to pretty much, I mean, it's going to determine what you're going to go after, and you're sort of, you're up against luck of the draw as far as what, what items come out here. There's not a mechanic in the game for resetting anything, resetting the market, uh, or anything like that. There's a few cards that can help you, but if you just didn't get those cards in the game in your seven rounds, then you're out of luck. Um, I was lucky enough when I played the hooligan one that I got a couple of specialists that I could use the uh, hooligan uh, mechanics to my favor to gain money and some victory points. Had I not gotten those, it would have been awfully tough, or had they the AI made them disappear, it would have been difficult and a lot of luck involved with that. Um, so challenge-wise, I give Dinosaur Island a 2.0. Uh, I didn't find it incredibly challenging. Um, it seemed like there was a little bit of puzzly experience uh, trying to figure out how best to utilize the plot twist, and that was kind of fun. But I, I really gave the experience a little bit more at a 3.25 because it's dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are fun. Um, I'm kind of a sucker for the dinosaur theme. Uh, I've not played it, but I'd love to play Dinogenics. Um, but that doesn't do it at all. I mean, I have uh, Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. I don't find that to be... I haven't rated it um, for the solo experience rating here, but I, I have not found it to be terribly compelling. Um, although I'm going to give it another go uh, at some point in this uh, process. I do like Dinosaur Island as a multiplayer game. Uh, but we're, since, since I'm only measuring the solo experience here, I really can't give it huge marks. Um, I haven't played the AI that goes, uh, that comes, I think it's been updated on Board Game Geek, uh, where you can download some AI options and play with it that way. But I think there's some components I'm missing. Um, maybe stuff that was upgraded or bonus components that came out later. I didn't do all the research on it. Um, but I know it's stuff that didn't come with um, Totally Liquid expansion when I got the expansion. And I got it a while back. It was after Kickstarter, but it was, um, but it was like on, on the shelf retail. And I was able to pick, pick it up. So uh, there could have been some, some later options or maybe some stuff that was included with Dual Solar Island or something like that that would have made it made more of the experience. But for now, for this experience, just using... The original rule books and what I had, um, I would say overall 2.75 for Dinosaur Island. That's my that's my rating. So uh, first game I did was Friday. I gave that an overall rating of 2.25. I give Dinosaur Island a 2.75. It's uh, it's more fun. So the experience overall I think was better than Friday, but the catch is really that. Um, despite it being more engaging, it's got a lot more setup, it's got a lot more reset. Friday would be much easier to get out and play a few rounds and then uh, put away than Dinosaur Island. It's just a lot of, there's a little bit of uh, setup and takedown, honestly takedown, and you can kind of see me doing it as I'm, I'm talking it through here, but there's a decent amount of takedown. I'm going to have to get both boxes. I've gotten every, pretty, most things in, well, I still I have to use both boxes. There's, not, there's too much, even with some 3D printing to fit it all into 
the one box. So uh, it's a lot of work, really. I probably, you know, actually as I'm doing this, thinking about the takedown, I'm wondering if setup reset shouldn't be a tad lower, like a 275, because it is a little bit more intensive. And it's kind of, you've got a lot of little finicky pieces here that really need to be kept separate when you're putting it away so that you can pull it out a little quicker. Um, that makes it um, slightly more challenging to put away. Uh, this is probably one of the more painful games to put away. And if I ever am trying to decide on a game to play and it kind of comes down to how fast can I set up and put away a game, this one sometimes doesn't get played because of how long it takes to set up and put away, especially for multiplayer in that case, because multiplayer takes even longer than uh, probably doing it for solo, at least for the setup part. Um, but uh, not a bad, still a good game. Uh, I would recommend it. If you're going to have four or five players, uh, I think probably four to five players would make it more fun because you get through market stuff a little bit more. Um, I often play this at two players with my son, so it's kind of like not as engaging at the two player, although I would say multiplayer, the totally liquid expansions that where you get the, the module, like kind of the um, executives, uh, I think I got one here, um, you get the little executive meeple, and he is, uh, his and his ability, there's multiple uh, abilities in that case that uh, can, can change the game significantly. It almost makes each player a little bit more asymmetrical, uh, which is really cool. Uh, that's a neat multiplayer aspect to the game, and I think with more players, it would definitely be even more fun. So, um, they do have some of the coolest dice. I will say Dinosaur Island dice are some of my favorite dice in any game. Uh, they're just colorful and neat. I like it. Uh, that's kind of a dorky thing to really like about a game, is to really have as much to do with the gameplay itself, but I, I do like it. Um, so there you go. That's my rating uh, thus far. I don't know what my next game's going to be. But thank you if you uh, jumped in on Dinosaur Island. You're getting to see the review and sort of my, my third game playthrough. Um, just for a review of the games, because I'm not going to include every single game like I thought initially was. My first game I scored like 176. Um, and that was with a plot twist that gave me two extra dice. And I'll try and include a, a picture of the plot twists that I used in those first two games. I'll do a top to bottom. I'll try to put it up here um, so that you have the two from those games. Um, but the first one really gave me some advantages that allowed me to score tons and tons of points because I just didn't, some of the takeaways, the, the things that the AI takes away, I just didn't lose out nearly as much based on the, the extra stuff I got from the first one. And so I gave me a point. I, I was able to get points pretty fast and consistently throughout the game. The second game, I think I scored 127. And uh, I felt like I did the worst that game, but I ended up getting tons of points, I think, from dinosaurs. Um, and I got most of my goals. I may have gotten the 10 point bonus at the end. I can't remember. Um, for the round, the round goals. And, uh, I know I got, no, I don't think I did because I think I got like two seven pointers during the seven point phase because I wasn't going to get all the goals. And I actually lost 10 points at the game because I had a dinosaur paddock that was, didn't have anything in it. Um, but I still scored 127 points, which, um, ended up not being as hard as, to score points as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, um, there you go. Uh, any comments you have? Um, if you saw me do errors when I was playing, please put it in the comments. Um, I, I'm, I'm always, I feel like most games I play, I tend to make some error at some point. Uh, I played, you know, playing these games like three times in a row to kind of get a good grasp on the solo experience. Uh, hopefully by the third game, which is the one you'll see, I'm making fewer errors. But uh, I still make errors, and if you caught something that you're like, hey, uh, Wade, you scored like, 20 points off of this and you never should have scored those points then put it in the comments um it helps me get better at uh working through these games and catching rules down the road uh and not uh not missing things quite as easily um if you are interested in more content like this um obviously i've got several other videos on this channel if you uh scroll to into the description 
there's a link to my Patreon if you are interested in supporting more content like this. That'd be fabulous. Um, but otherwise, uh, your comments are the thing I would love most. And if you have time for a like and a subscribe, that's fantastic. Uh, but mostly I, I love getting the feedback and just knowing that people are enjoying this and getting something out of it. That's the most uh, fun thing uh, for this hobby. Uh, so have a great day. And until next time, uh, thank you for joining Unraveled Gaming.